Debbie's Mind with Happy Place, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for stopping by. So, if you enjoy the content of my videos, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this, this video. Oh my gosh. So, this is going to be a different kind of video that I'm doing today. And I have 14 reasons why I'm going to stop sh shopping at Timu. So I know I did like a Timu unpacking already and I was on the bandwagon with Timu. But this is going to be a different kind of video which I don't really want to put out. But I feel like it needs to be said because I've seen a lot of things from different people. And I'm starting to think I've always been on the fence with them. But I thought, mm, everybody's spying on you anyway, so you might as well just do whatever you want because everything is spying on you. Your TV, your phones, your every app that you download, is all this stuff is spying on you every day. But let's get into the reasons why you should stop shopping at Timu in my, in my um, viewpoint. So anyway, I'm going to start with the reasons why I'm going to personally stop shopping with them. Okay, so before Christmas, like way before Christmas, I mean, I think it was even before Thanksgiving, I put in an order, a big order, and it was like a $400 order. But I bought like all my Christmas stuff with that order. But it got lost in Chicago. So um, probably not Timu's um, fault. At all, it's just like a shipping, something happened in shipping or whatever. But point is that it did get lost. Now, that was not really a big deal because Timu um, credited my account with all the money and gave it back to my, um, on my credit card. So, and they did it without me asking. They knew all the time what was going on. So I thought, mm, okay, they did pretty good with that one, right? They did really good with that one. So the second reason why is my last order. I was doing a video unpacking my last Timu order and I'm telling you this chemical smell started and it just like it caused my sinuses to just start draining and all this my throat started hurting and all this kind of stuff. And I hadn't had that with the previous shipments that I had, but all of a sudden I was unpacking that, and oh my gosh, that smell was just horrible. So I put that video on hold. I debated on showing it, not showing it, whatever. But I did put it on hold. I did put that video on hold and decided to make this video instead. So that is the second reason. I mean, that chemical smell was pretty bad. So you have to question um, what chemicals they're using and are these bad for our health and all that kind of stuff so you do have to okay so we're going to get into some of the more broader reasons why you probably shouldn't be shopping with timu and i'm looking down at my paper because i have notes on this video believe it or not so um they sell stuff really cheap so below cost so they're selling stuff below cost on purpose and you might think well other people are just making a huge profit but that may not necessarily be the case. By selling things below cost right now, they're trying to get a bigger share of the market out there. So by doing that, they're putting other businesses out of business. They're putting American businesses out of business. They're putting the small business out of business by selling their stuff really cheap. So let's get into mm, security concerns. So spyware. Mm, nobody has come out and said that they are actually doing spyware. But their parent company, which is Pin Duo Duo, um, has been accused of putting spyware and tracking you and all this kind of stuff. So we have that going on. So uh, security concerns are like for sure. Right, I'm sure they're spying on you. Everybody spies on us, right? Um, but for sure, they are probably somehow tracking stuff so they can figure out what you want to buy. Um, who knows what they're doing? So anyway, so there is that consideration to consider when shopping with any kind of thing online, right? Anything that you do online is tracking you. I'm sorry to say. I am sorry to say. Okay, 
let's get into this little evil little fish game that they have right and it lets you pick like four products and they're going to give them to you for free and stuff but you have to feed these fish and they get you to feeding these fish and um like if you shop more you get some more fish food and stuff but the real thing they want you to do is bother all your friends and stuff on social media to get them buying from Timu, which I guess is the marketing uh, thing. But I don't like to bother my friends about things like that, like bothering friends and saying, oh, you know, shop here, or, you know, and they're getting all these ads in their, in their uh, messenger and all that kind of stuff. And on Facebook, I don't like to do that. And with the fish game, they just keep stringing you along like you never get to the prize i've been trying to get my first free stuff for uh, a couple of months now and you never get quite there it just keeps stringing you along and along and along i'm like almost there but not quite so i haven't gotten any of my free stuff yet so um it's just bad it just creates in your mind this whole addictive kind of thing and since i have an addictive personality it's not healthy for me. So there's that to consider. I don't like bothering my friends. And it just is a bad, I, in my opinion, it's just bad. All right, let's see. Some things can be deceptive. You have to be very careful when you're shopping with Dimu because you'll think this is a nice product that you're getting. And then it turns out it's itty bitty and, and stuff like that. So it's hard to judge. A lot of stuff that I get got from them was perfectly fine, right? But some stuff was not the size that I thought it was going to be. So, and that's just a personal thing. When you buy things online, you don't know what size they're going to be. They do have copycat items. So they kind of mislead you by telling you, I'm into the willow tree little people. And this is, this is, this is one of them, okay? And I like them. I have mm, several up on a shelf, my shadow box in my in my dining room. I love them. I've been collecting them for years now. So I just I just really like them, but they're kind of spendy, right? So they had them on Timu and I thought, oh, I'll check it out, right? Well, this is uh the Timu knockoff, and it won't even really focus on her face. It won't even focus on her face. I don't know why. But you can tell, you can tell that this is much better quality than this. Not bad. I'm not unhappy with this because it is, um, man, it just won't focus on that though. At all. That, that might tell you something right there. So anyway, it's not bad quality. And for the price difference, it's mm, probably okay but it's not the same product it's not the same product at all and i'm going to tell you i'm going to confess that i was sucked in on facebook and i will never shop on facebook again either i was sucked in and bought a whole bunch of what's supposed to be willow tree little people a whole big old order for really really cheap and i haven't ever got it so there's that to consider when shopping with any of those like chinese kind of like things on on Facebook it's just buyer beware okay a lot of times the quality is not what you think and the stuff is not what you think okay um let's see what else we got okay so I have my little tree um key tree you know okay so they do they will hound you if you have no friends um get on Timu because they will text you every day and they just keep reaching out to you reaching out to you wanting you to spend money telling you you can get all these things cheap and everything else so they just keep sending you out um cheap messages so that you will keep shopping which i guess mm, i guess that's the point of having a shopping thing right is to keep people shopping right all right is it okay to use your t your credit card on Timu? I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I've seen a few posts where people have said that they kind of like took money that wasn't for products they didn't purchase or whatever, but I don't know the answer to that. I was always leery of that, so I always stuck to my PayPal account 
for ordering on Timu. So, um, that's how I did it to keep me safe. I probably wouldn't put a credit card in there. I'd get like a prepaid credit card or something and use that if I was going to shop with Timu anymore because I just was always leery about that in the first place. Um, and then are they selling our, our information on the black market? Who knows? I've seen um, other so, um, social media posts where they say, yes, that their, their stuff was stolen and they took all their money out of their bank account and like all kinds of people were taking money out of their bank account. So I did see some people posting about that. So, you know, are they selling our information on the black market? Nobody knows the answer to this, that question. Um, IP addresses, are they getting our IP addresses, our location, our history, our political affiliation, our browsing history, our sexual orientation, and and all that kind of stuff? You know, are they? Mm, I don't know if they answered that question, but maybe, maybe they are. Um, there's a whole, I had a picture of the whole page where it shows, like, when you download the app, like, what they can get from you, and it was a lot of stuff that they can get that they have the right to get your information about. So I don't know. So since they are under different regulations, this takes me back to the chemical smell, is um, are the pro some of the products not safe or not up to American standards? Probably so. Um, that would be my guess. I'm not for sure, but that would be my, my guess. And my 14th reason, which mm, I'm sorry to say, I'm not a big environmentalist. I mean, I love my planet and I love, you know, I love my world and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not like a bad person and I probably have a smaller footprint than a lot of people, but I'm not like the big environmentalist. But when you're shipping stuff across the ocean and all that kind of stuff and creating all this extra clutter and things for our environment, it can't be good for our environment. I mean, you just can't. So anyway, um, I hope my biggest thing was that in my last shipment, it smelled like chemicals and that was a big red flag. I've always been like, mm, I don't know if I should be shopping with them. It's fun. I love shopping with them, but does that get me in trouble? Yeah, probably because I do have an addictive personality. So mm, I probably should watch that anyway. So anybody out there that has an addictive personality probably shouldn't be shopping with Timu because they kind of prey on that also. I have found that and um, that's just my personal experience. So I will, and it will be hard. It will be hard to break that habit because mm, I like cheap stuff and I like all the stuff that they send me and everything. So, um, but I'm going to break the habit. I've already uh, deleted their apps off my um iPad and off my phone, so um, hopefully I can keep it that way. Um, who knows? Um, again, an addictive personality that they're kind of preying on or whatever, but uh, a big thing is probably that they are going to put little people, uh, businesses out of business by selling cheaper stuff, right, than that they can sell with, and then once that happens, then their prices will go up, for sure. I'm sure about that. So anyway... That's just a little video about Timu. I personally won't be shopping with Timu anymore. I do like the stuff that I've gotten already, but I won't be shopping with them anymore. I've deleted all their apps, and um, I don't know. I guess I'll be paying a little bit more for my crafting supplies, and that's okay with me because I want to be safe, and I don't want all my information stolen. I'm probably going to be a little bit more careful with all of my online purchases from now on. So that's my video for today. I'll see you on the next one.